very interesting thing happens at the beginning of season four because all of our uh, season enders are cliffhangers and we usually jump right in, but this year we are going into the past seven years to see the beginning of John and Dutch's relationship, basically how they became partners and what that looked like. Hey, look, I got this. I'm just playing the long game. Yeah, well, your long game is leading us to a very short death. It looks slightly different. They obviously got along. They've been working together for a little amount of time, but they were really feeling each other out, and they hadn't bonded in the same way. So this is, I think, a little insight into seeing that bonding start as they go through things together, and I, I found it to be very, very interesting. What are you doing? Saving John. So are we, which is why we're headed for the Armada. The Armada's too far. John's map says that there's a moon with a green pool within minutes from him. What good is some random pool to Johnny? Dutch, what is going on with you? With the trio, you know, there's the dynamics have always kind of shifted at times, just like a family. The dynamic between Johnny and Dutch, they go kind of beyond friendship or romance. Their love is deep, like a never-ending well. And with Davin and Dutch, it's a romance, it's a locking of horns, it's everything. Um, but there's definitely gonna be exploration and realizations within Dutch and Davin's relationship as well this season and where they stand with each other and, and, and what their romance is. Everything's good here. A whole lot has changed since you left. Turin controls the Armada, Holland have taken over the rack. Uh, Pip and Pre are deputized killjoys now which is about as annoying as it sounds. Both Davin and Dutch and Johnny all have so much baggage. So in order for there to be a happily ever after, they all have to figure out a lot of stuff. Davin is definitely growing and trying to be a better communicator, trying to be a better partner. So in order for them to be a happily ever after couple, they, I think, still need to really deal with a lot of their past. <laughs> Let my brother go! I keep becoming this. Because I want to be this. He gets Hollandized, is basically the best way to put it, and starts to lose touch with his emotions, his caring, his compassion, which is what happens when you're subjected to the uh, to the green. He really turns up the jerk. John's always being the nice guy, the compassionate guy, so to get to flip it on its head was actually a lot of fun. You have to rest. You almost died out there, but I saved you. You're welcome. I guess I'm not used to you not trying to murder me and everyone I love. Me neither. We discover the lady in the green, this whole new force in our show, this kind of whole new villainous force. And we've kind of gone past Anila and there's an understanding between Dutch and Anila and a kind of realization with the two characters. And actually they are stronger as one. I don't think it's more difficult to play um, the, t the dynamic switching between Anila and Dutch. I think it's difficult for the characters to accept that that's happening. And, you know, for Dutch to be understanding of Anila after spending, you know, the majority of the season wanting to kill her, it's hard it, and it takes time to manipulate that kind of feeling towards each other and have understanding. Their mannerisms are still the same, but it's, it's their dialogue with each other and their warmth and, and their understanding of each other. You actually kind of see that Dutch isn't always right and you know, Nina was actually right in what she's doing in that, so it's fun to definitely play. Welcome to Camp Human. I don't understand, how are you all here? This is so much better than getting shot in the face. It was close, I've been tracking your ship since left the rack. You're lucky we didn't torch you on entry. Oh. Uh, thanks. The team of the Killjoys, our family's completely expanded with Zeth and Pippin and, you know, Turin, Fancy. We've kind of created our whole family because we all have to stick together in these times of need and war. What fans should expect from this season is what they always come 
to Killjoys 4. Obviously, it's for all the adventure and the fun and the excitement and the action, it is fundamentally a show about three people who we all absolutely adore and love, trying to figure out how to survive, but then also how to be good people to one another, while at the same time getting themselves into too much trouble. So I think what they can expect to see this season are these characters in situations they've never been in before, and getting to explore that has been a joy too.